So I've got my seam tape put on all the way around. This is a, a fabric backed seam tape. And the reason for the fabric is it soaks up the roof coating. And uh, so you can see I've got about a two and a half inch wrap over the edge. All the way around. And then uh, I'm gonna go over the top of the deck, the plywood deck with my 60 mil poly panel. Those will offset these joints uh, to about, I don't know, about here. So that all the joints will be staggered. This is gonna go on with contact cement, spray contact cement. And uh, it's uh, the DAP weld wood. And then I go over the seams again with seam tape and then I coat the whole roof twice. So what that'll give me is about an 80 mil roof and a 50 year warranty. So I'm excited to get that done. I'm going to get up there and get my poly panels cut to fit uh, all of my openings. Once I get those cut to size and glued down, then I can go in and put on my new max air fans, all my sewer vents, my, my new refrigerator vent, and um, my weatherproof junction boxes for solar and my uh, cellular uh, booster cable. So I'm going to get all that done and I'll get back to you guys once all that's up. All right, well, I'm back in the shop this morning. Uh, yesterday, I got all of the uh, poly panel put on and all of my seams taped, all my edges taped. Um, before I did that, actually, I went over and scraped all the old ceiling off and then went over all the edges with my uh, sander and smoothed all those out so there's no sharp edges and gave it a nice round over. Uh, got everything put down with adhesive and then all my seams taped so it turned out really good I'm happy with it today I'm gonna to start getting all my vents put on my so I've got my my two new max air vents uh, my new refrigerator vent my uh, sewer vent caps uh, and my escape hatch over the cab over um, I'll also go ahead and install my junction boxes over those uh, wiring locations so let's get started on that but first I'm gonna show you um, a couple of things on these Max Air vents. So I've already unboxed one of them and they send some uh, pan head, stainless steel pan head screws and the wiring connectors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those. I might actually use uh, these uh, tech screws. So I really like the, the larger head on these, they spread out the, the load a little bit better. So I might go ahead and, and use these. These are one and a quarter inch. I might go and buy another container of these uh, in one inch, uh, maybe a couple of containers in one inch instead of one and a quarter to install all of my vent rings, the, tr the trim rings. So on my original, this is the bathroom vent trim ring that goes on the inside ceiling. Um, these are the ones that they send you. So you've obviously got to trim these down. I just took a measurement here and then I take my 
my straight edge and you know lay it over the lay it over the frame and make my mark and then I can go along with uh, my multi-tool or my sawzall or jigsaw and, and just cut those out. Real easy to do. Um, that way you've got your thickness of your ceiling, um, uh, you know, of your, your trusses. These are gonna vary between the bathroom and uh, in the uh, kitchen area. You can see the difference. This is the bathroom, my bath, old bathroom on the original one. And this is, the kitchen you can see the difference it's a you know a little bit different thickness of ceiling in that area so when i go to mark out my other fan um, ring the trim ring for the inside uh, you know it'll be i'll go off of this one you can't use your original uh, your existing trim rings because the the profile of the edge is different see this radius is much larger than this and that will prohibit it from fitting in to the max air vent shroud you want to take before you go and cut the uh the tr interior trim ring take your exterior mounting frame and get that off of there this guy here up on the roof and make sure that uh, your opening is correct and that everything lines up. So you want to, you know, just don't don't screw it in. Just throw this in the hole. Make sure that it uh, fits down in there and that uh, you've got plenty of plenty of wood to get some get all the screws in. And these things only mount one way because you've got your your C clips there to attach the actual motor and hood to. So obviously you'll want to make sure that those are oriented in the front to back direction, the way that uh, this will open and close, like so. Just like that. You can kind of see how they how it fits in there. So in other words, those clips have to line up with those holes right there. So I'll get started cutting those and getting the my uh, vents installed on the roof and all the other stuff. And I'll catch you when I'm you know up on the roof getting those things done. I've been tarping this thing every night because, well. We got blue skies today, but they've been forecasting rain. And also, you can see how much moisture just collects overnight just from dew. So, don't want any of that wet when I'm trying to work up there. It just makes a mess. So, taking an hour or so each day to cover and uncover is not really a big deal. I'll just lay that out in the road to dry for a couple of hours and fold it up and put it away for the day. I did cover the nose last night because I haven't sealed this yet with, I haven't put my sealant on around the window or uh, my new lights aren't in. I did order all new lights, all new clearance lights for the front, sides, and rear. So those should be in tomorrow. But I wanted to get this nose covered. This is just a picnic table cover, waterproof picnic table cover that fit on the nose perfectly. Get it off there. All right, so this is where we're at. Got all my side trim cleaned up. Um, all the old sealant and butyl tape off. <clears throat> All right, so this is about day four of the new roof job. Day four or day five, I can't remember. But anyway, I got my my rear cap, uh, the tail light or the uh, clearance light shroud put on. Got all of my new decking, my poly wall. 
and all the seams taped and my side trim up. You can see that I've got my junction boxes, my waterproof junction boxes put on, my refrigerator vent, my escape hatch, uh, the vent bases for the Max Air fans, and my new skylight. And uh, today I go through and get my first coat of Crazy Seal put on. So everything that you see, any all the penetrations, I'll go around um, all of that. I'm going to tape off my skylight a little bit so I can get, you know, a good seal about an inch up uh, the dome. And uh, yeah, get everything sealed up, get my first coat on today. I'm going to start with wiping off this roof, uh, getting the leaf blower out, blowing off the dust, and then wiping everything down with Simple Green. And uh, I'll let that dry for about a half an hour and then start getting my sealant on. And I think I mentioned yesterday that I got all new lights, all new LED lights for the front and back. Clearance lights and the side clearance lights, so amber and red. And I also want to show this. Uh, I put a skylight in um, where this regular vent used to be. And I wanted to show you this cool little interior uh, blind, retractable blind. So I just picked that up on Amazon. It's uh, for a 14 by 14 vent. So you can still get your... You know, you can still cut your foam and, and get it up in there for insulation and uh, open and close your, your blinds. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so let's get moving on this project. All right, so this is the, some of the stuff that uh, you're going to need. Some rollers, um, an extendable um, roller pole. Um, I... With the kit, I got four rolls of the of the black fabric uh, seam tape, which I've already used. I've already put that stuff on there on all the seams, side seams, front and back seams, and uh, in between the plywood deck. And then also um, I used some of the black fabric tape and also some standard 3-inch and 4-inch tape to go over uh, some of the poly seams. Um, some masking tape to mask off skylights or any fixtures. Um, the kit comes with, at least my kit, you'll order it uh, on their website by the length of your RV and uh, type of roof. So if you're going direct to deck or if you're going over existing membrane, uh, that'll kind of make up the kit uh, specifically for you. I've got one gallon of Crazy Patch, which is the the uh, fiber-infused silicone mastic. So it's uh, it's got fibers of, of plastic in it um, to uh, give it strength. You've got your silicone, your fiber-infused silicone sealant. And then I've got four gallons of the fiber infused silicone roof membrane. So this is the actual final coat. Um, the crazy patch is what you put around all of your seams for you, like your vents, uh, any, uh, you know, skylights, things like that, where there are screw penetrations, you'll go over it with that. Um, so the, the crazy seal um, silicone, the fiber infused silicone, you, you put that down on like your side trim, uh, your front and rear cap uh, trim. And what you want to do is put down your silicone sealant, the caulking first, and then immediately while it's still wet, go over it with the crazy patch. So if you have to go over, you know, make a make a line on your on your side trim or your front and rear trim, do that and then immediately uh, go over it, brush on the crazy patch. So once that's done, you've gone over all of your uh, penetrations, like your vents and things like that. 
uh, you want to let that dry for a few hours until it's uh, dry to the touch and doesn't indent like when you push your finger on it. Then you can go over your do your first coat of roof membrane. So, um, you know, this stuff is very high quality uh, fiber infused silicone roof membrane. So it's it's kind of derived from the commercial uh, roof industry. Um, it uh, has a 50 year warranty and uh, it's, it's super easy to install, uh, to apply to an RV roof. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this stuff. And, um, uh, I might not film every little thing. There's tons of videos on the crazy seal website, uh, crazyseal.com. You can, um, uh, I mean, all the, all their products are made in the USA. Um, and they're based out of Florida, I believe, but I'm going to get moving on this stuff. Uh, what I was going to say is there's lots of videos on their website, installation videos, and things like that for all different types of applications. So you can check out their website at crazyseal.com. So what I think I'm going to do is end this video here. Uh, on the next video, I'll go ahead and do a, a brief overview of all the products that I'm using from Crazy Seal. And uh, the next video will just be the application of the Crazy Seal products. So... Um, be sure to uh, stay tuned for that video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.